So continuing to field more questions here for USMLE. I have a student asking about USMLE RX QBank that he or she is wondering how long to spend on those questions slash explanations uh, in isolation as well as relative to UWorld, okay? So I've made prior clips on how long you should spend on explanations as well as how to go through QBank, but I will quickly give you some value here, uh, some updated points. So before we get started, a lot of you an asshole like I usually am, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Help grow this channel. Share with one of your friends prepping for USMLE. Help bring awareness to this channel. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. And find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now, let me address this fucking question here as far as how long should you spend on QBank explanations, USMLE RX, UWorld, etc. It should take you about six to eight hours to go through 40 questions in QBank. People are going to have different opinions, different natural pacing. That's okay. Uh, it is my observation with students that if they are doing more than 80 questions per day, they're generally not reading sufficiently. Okay, Even if your knowledge base is good and you feel like you should be going quickly, it should take you about six to eight hours to go through 40 to 50 questions. Now, once again, there will be some students who say, what do you mean, Michael? That's so incredibly fucking slow. I can do that in like two, three hours. That's great. A lot of students can't do that. Okay. So I'm just more or less uh, debunking this notion that it's somehow normal to be getting through a block of 40 questions in EG two to three hours. That's not how it is. Taking six to eight hours is pretty typical. Okay. So, and even if you're scoring higher, just the assiduous review is important. There are times we might accelerate you up to 80 questions per day if we're trying to knock out volume. And you might do those 80 questions over eight hours where we intentionally might have you do a more skeletal or, or cursory review in order to knock out your quota, okay? E.g., you have your step one in two months and you just started UWorld and you're probably not going to finish the QBank and we need you focusing on the NBMEs, okay? So you've got a lot on your plate and there are times when we might have you go through faster, okay? But 40 to 80 questions per day, I want you doing, for the most part, and this is I, when I say I want you, as in most students watching this clip without even uh, having spoken with you, tutor mode, random, untimed, is most effective for macro retention for most students most of the time, okay? There's a time and place for doing subject specific or timed, it's never cookie cutter. But when we talk about macro retention of the material, untimed, tutor, random mode, okay? If your knowledge base is very weak, 40 questions per day. If your knowledge base is a bit better, we can accelerate you up to 80 questions per day. There's a lot to discuss. And for USMLE RX, I would say it's pretty much the same. If you are early in your prep, and when I say early, I mean greater than eight months out, just as an arbitrary figure, we could be having you go through USMLE RX QBank at 40, 80 questions per day. It's not a big deal. And work uh, up until about the six month mark when we would definitely want you starting on New World, okay? There's lots of points for discussion here. If you have any questions, drop comments below and I will address them. You know the deal, I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.